Uh, here's Bruce Shine, of course, with a heat check today. And uh, these bet swimmers continue. Uh, maybe the Reds, maybe the uh, Dodgers, maybe San Diego. It's obvious. Uh, it sounds like the Red Sox, instead of keeping bets, which they could do and see how the year moves along, it sounds like payroll-wise, get the $28 million off there. And Bloom and the fact they even have a manager yet there, Bruce, appearing that maybe they're going to write the year off. Sounds like bets might be traded here by opening day. What's uh, your take? Uh, let, 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 let's be frank here. There's an awful lot of smoke from people in the know suggesting that there's far more motivation than perhaps any of us initially were led to believe for a trade to get done somewhere. And unlike the group that we talked about yesterday, the Padres, the Dodgers make an awful lot of sense on any and every obvious level. Andy McCullough of the L.A. Times has a column out today suggesting that the Dodgers are pretty motivated to get something done here. Um, they have obviously the wherewithal both financially and in terms of prospects to facilitate a trade if they so desire. Uh, comfortably taking in Mookie Betts and his $27 million. There are some murmurings as well about David Price in some way, shape, or form being uh, involved in this deal. Obviously, the Red Sox would have to pay down some of that $96 million. But clearly, this is a difference maker for a team that, to be perfectly honest with you, I, I don't want to make it, you know, be flimsy and suggest they have a buy into October, but they are the surest of any of the other 30 or 29 teams in baseball to reach October. Betts is clearly somebody that can finally get them over the top and end this three decade plus X in terms of winning a championship. There, there is Bruce once again taking the onus off the Yankees. The Yankees are the lock for October, not the Dodgers. The Yankees are. The Yankees with the Red Sox down and everything else, there's absolutely no, and the division of the American League Central, which is awful, and the AL West isn't good either. There is no way the Yankees aren't going to play baseball in October. That's his Bruce taking the uh, bullseye off their back, and I'm not going to allow him to do that today. Uh, now, as far as the bets is concerned with the Dodgers, what do you think Friedman would be willing to give up? Now, I mean, listen, the Red Sox are desperate to get bets out of there and save the $28 million. Maybe the Dodgers do them a favor and also take price back, which would obviously lessen the prospects that have to give back to Boston. But the Red Sox got to bring something back. How willing would the Red Sox, would the um, Dodgers be to give up a couple of really good prospects in this move? Let me hear. Well, you know, we talked about this yesterday, too. Obviously, from Boston's standpoint, they have to weigh what they're going to get in terms of a potential compensatory pick. If, if Betts walks as a free agent after next year. And obviously, look, the way the rules are designed, they're not a, a revenue-sharing recipient. So that compensatory pick is, is not going to be real attractive. And if some of the names that are being bandied about by the Andy McCullers of the world are legit, I mean, if you could get an Alex Verdugo, uh, Verdugo and or a Kyber Ruiz, who's one of the more highly touted catching prospects uh, you know, in the minor leagues, and you could make something like that work, the, the Red Sox should absolutely leap at that why would the Dodgers do why would the Dodgers do that for the one Red year Sox have nowhere to go with bets be, be, be. they have nowhere to go they have to they want to get them off the team well, they got to say they want to stay want to get they want to reset that luck there's not that many teams maybe San Diego that, that, that are going to sit there and, and delve into bets because they know they get to rental they know they're not going to re-sign them so why would the Dodgers have to give the Red Sox two players because the I Red can so see one not two well because the Red Sox may think they could do just as well at the July 31st deadline where there are more teams. Nobody's going to take him at the July 31st deadline. Bruce, it's a two-month deal. There's uh, five uh, teams that are in the mix. Uh, I, I, How about if San Diego's out of it? Look, there's, there's nobody there. There's nobody going to take him. Look, there's there's not going to – I'm not suggesting they could do as well because of the, the control aspect of things, but I certainly think they could do very well themselves. If you get Mookie Betts for two, month, two months and you have a team that are fight for playoff positioning, Mookie Betts is a very, very attractive option. I, I'll disagree with you somewhat on that. They, they can still do very well this summer. Uh, now, whether uh, they, again, now, whether the, the, now, whether the Red Sox could trade them if they're having a big season in the summer, that's a different issue entirely. But I still think they could, do very well for, they could do very well for themselves if they opt to hold on to them. Uh, I don't think summer. so. I disagree. Uh, first off, San Diego wouldn't want them. They're going to be out of it. So you eliminate one team all out of the, right out of the gate. Now, they're not going to take them, and they got prospects. So, I mean, if I'm the Dodgers, listen, I'll, I'll take bets. But, you know, I'm going to be difficult. You know, uh, if you want to give me price, I'll give you nothing back. I'm not giving you a ton back. I'll give you one prospect. I'll give you a good prospect, one. I'm not giving you more than that. They don't no need to. The Dodgers are in October anyway. I agree with good you. I, I don't think they would do both those guys in this trade for one year of control of bets. But 
either one is a nice headliner for a prospective package.